Okay, so I ran into a little bit of a glitch. Surprise, surprise, a glitch in Bethesda game, right? So when you try to access this last terminal, terminal, if you are too far away from it, you actually go into this weird, like, see? It's like this weird bobble motion, which is, I can't even escape from. I can't do anything here. The only thing I can do is reload a, the quick save that I made. And I've been looking online. I first thought it was maybe because of the mod that I had enabled, the lowered weapons mod. Maybe it was like throwing it off, but I couldn't find anything to fix it. I then I just kind of started just spamming, coming to this terminal back and forth. And what I have discovered is if you are up close to the terminal, like, like within like dick's length of it, <laughs> if you stand right next to it, then it'll work. So, I don't know, man. It's Bethesda. Cancel security alert. Just one more thing. If you have a What happened to your outfit? What's up? Just a quick thing. I just wanted to say, I'm really happy, thankful, that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. Ooh, I actually want that. <laughs> yes. You really don't want it anymore? No. It's part of a past I don't want to dwell on. It's time I move on. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Sure. Great. Hold on. Yeah. Tracking at least two bots. Oof, could be more. You should plan accordingly. Ugh. Looking at all this equipment. That's definitely going to be a reoccurring mission that keeps going back and forth. Um, what, another thing that I also did is I reinstalled the game, thinking that maybe I don't know. I was doing everything. So one second here. I had these down here. So you could hear the people more. Good. And then I had subtitles were on. There we go. Be done. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. Would you be disappointed to hear that I let her live? I do have conflicting outlooks if that is the case. But I trust your judgment. If she lives, she does so with the guilt of what she's done. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the mechanist robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. All robot mods unlocked. Interesting.
Let me hop back in here. That power armor will provide adequate protection. So you guys staying here then? This isn't stealing, right? Can I talk to you? Oh no, she's just staying with me. Hmm, I have unlocked all the mods, you say. Okay, let's try to get out of here quickly. Find an exit. Ah, here's the elevator. Going down. Control center. That's the elevator that we saw at the very beginning that didn't... Con Ooh. Mini nuke that we couldn't access before. Fuses. Plasma, plasma, plasma. There was another door here in the other side of the room up top. I'm wondering, is that accessible now? Only one way to find out. Yeah, it's open. Oh, this is where we came in from. Okay. So that's where that door led, led us. Okay, let's take the elevator down. <gasps> and then we'll head back to castle. And then we'll give Ada some sweet upgrades. And then we'll go robot hunting and see if it really is just a fetch quest. I've had bad experiences with elevators and them getting stuck. So we're going to do going a quick save up. there. Security screening room three. Move, Ada. Move. Oh dear God, you blocking. Run, 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 run. Let's get out of here. I'm surprised there wasn't like a quick way out of here. I guess this isn't terrible. I want that armor. That armor looks sick. How do I get that? I'm not gonna help defend County Crossing. That was nonsense. Let me transfer. Take all the junk. Jesus, man. Everyone calm not down. Everyone's talking all at once. So when Ghoul walks into a bar, bartender says, you know, so much work. Ghoul says, that's fine. Those days hidden forever. At least not if I have my say. Strong not care about stupid human stuff. Just want milk of human kindness. Jesus, man. World is bigger than a strong loom. It's like a skull. So many humans. Not many what does that look like? No. It's called a Gorgon helmet. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> I want you to look friendly. <laughs> Alright, so after a couple minutes, as you can see, we've given <laughs> Ada the Kylie Jenner treatment here. Uh, the only thing that I was not able to do is the left and right shoulder slots. Uh, that's because I do not have a high enough rank. Oh yeah, no, I don't have enough gold right now, so... We're gonna have to find some gold to do this, but looking pretty <laughs> mean. Look at this thing. It's bigger than my suit. Every like like I said, everything is maxed out except for the shoulder slots. So we're gonna have to find some gold eventually, but let me just drop this store all my junk in here. Okay, so here's the situation. <laughs> It turns out building a fully decked out sentry bot 
with all the fixins actually destroys your frame rate. So with a fully decked out sentry bot, I was dropping to like 30 frames per second, which on PC is unplayable for me. So I decided that I'd go back to my settlement and kind of tone it down a bit, you know? So yeah, we're gonna do this hunt, but we're not gonna do it with a full out robot because I like to play my games with fairly high frame rates. So yeah, that's 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 the rub right now. That's the situation. So let's see what these robots are all about. One. Slog. What the hell, slog? Go on, do that. I'm trying to hunt robots here. Yeah, I don't know if it's something that will be a fix. I don't know why having so much. I guess he has like. The robot has like a lot of articulating parts to it. So. I guess it's hard for the game to render it. I don't even know. Anyways, what was that? Okay, so that 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 was it. Literally, that was the mission. Okay. As Ada takes some bullets. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for the Automatron DLC. It's actually fairly short. All the previous when I played all the DLCs in Fallout 3, they were fairly lengthy. This one was kind of short, but it was still fun the entire way through. And it was a nice revisiting the game again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. As always, if you enjoyed, drop the video a quick thumbs up. And I shall see you guys next time for the next batch DLC, which we hopefully think will be, well, I pray it will be a little bit longer, but that will be it for me this time. So everyone have a fantastic day as always.